Hey, Thomas here, and this is kind of an aside video. Um, I'm making this video kind of for the internet at large because I wasn't able to find any kind of information that would have helped me when I was facing the problem. And I just want to document what I found so that other people may be able to, to use that and learn from it. So the problem that I was facing here is that when once I came down to uh, snippet number 92, I noticed that I'm not, I don't have enough snippets available. The snippets are limited to 100 snippets and I needed another 20 or 30 snippets uh, here when I reached number 92 or 93. And so then what I decided is to split up the show into two shows, one for act one and one for act two. That is the safest way to do it because then you know you always have enough time to change shows and load the other show between acts. There's always going to be enough time for that in the in the rush of a show. Whereas you know any other split would be kind of risky and and more more difficult to to manage. So what I was what I was doing, what I did, I, I wanted. So I had a couple of goals. I wanted to retain the count here for the cues because I had already marked up the script all the way along with those. So I don't want to all of a sudden, here's the end of act one. I don't want to all of a sudden just start back at uh, one with the second act. I wanted to just continue, keep going with 15 and keep everything that I have below here the way it is. Um, and so what I did is I just started deleting away here. Um, I'm just going to go through this real quick. So you can just go on your keyboard, delete, enter, delete, enter, delete, enter, and so forth until you're there where you want to be. So you can do this until the first cue of the second act is up on top. You notice that I'm retaining my mute all cue at the top because that's, you know, that's always I always like to have it at the top and easy to access and not hard to find a way to mute everything and here we go so this is our first step um to to this one and now so okay I, I skipped over one thing there was actually a snippet snippet number 52 that was the last snippet used in act one and that's kind of important once I save this as act one okay so i'm now creating uh, the show that is going to be act two but when you're saving the show that is act one it's important to make sure that you don't delete a snippet that is used in act one and uh, you know because now what you're going to do is you're going to save one version where you get rid of all of these uh, snippets here up until the last one that's that's used in act two and so in this case, it was 52, snippet number 52 is the last one used in act one. So you would delete all of these snippets here and save it as act one. Um, and then, so that part is easy. Now the part, the other part is hard and that is um, this here. I'm gonna show you how, how this is difficult. So when you do this for the snippets, you go delete, enter, delete, enter, delete, enter, click, delete, enter right so you just select the snippet you want to delete and then hit delete enter and you see the difference that happens here is that the snippets aren't shuffling themselves up to the top of the list but rather they just stay within their uh the slot that they have so i'm just going to go through the whole thing here it's just going to be a few seconds left I'm going to stop before 52. There. Okay. So now, now I have, I'm facing a problem here, right? I can now either just leave it like this. That's a possibility. That's an option. I can just leave it like this. And now when I run out of snippets down here, I could, right? I could continue down, down this list here with the snippets filling them up and everything would be fine. And then when I'm running out of snippets at 99, I would just go back up to the top and use these free slots here that have opened up now. And I would go ahead and put the 
the remaining snippets that I need at the end of the show into the beginning here. That's a possibility. That's one way of doing it, okay? The other way of doing it is by hacking into the show file and renaming things. And so maybe that's not what you want to do, right? Maybe you just want to work it like this. But then the disadvantage is that in act two, you're going to have the snippets, part of the snippets are going to be out of order, which is fine. It's like, it's not that big a deal. You can say, okay, I don't care about that. I don't want to go through hacking the show file. That's that's fine. I'm just going to you know, have the snippets out of order for act two and that's it and that's fine. So, but let me show you anyway how you can fix it if you want to fix it. You open up your notepad or any kind of text editor and then you open uh, the show file. So in this case, So you don't see anything here because actually I don't want to just show you this on this one. You don't see anything because the open filter here is set to um, text documents. So you have to search this to all files. And then you can see here in this folder, act two copy folder, you have a bunch of files. And so here you can see these are the snippets. There's a file for each snippet. And you can see here the the snippet ID, quote unquote, is kind of on here, right? So that means each file in this list here corresponds to the number of the snippet over here, okay? So 000, that's the file for this snippet. 001, that's the file for this snippet and so forth, right? Now, okay, so those are the, all the snippets and now we have you know, something like 99 snippets in here because, or 92, because this is still the whole show. And then here, this is the show file. Okay, the show file, the show file saves all the information that is contained in this list in the queues. And um, so that is the file where you need to make some edits. And I'm going to show you right now. So let's open this one and see what that looks like. So this looks kind of like a little bit like a weird list that only computers should be reading. And there's some truth to that, but I want to just document here how this is decoded. All right, so in the beginning here, so you have a whole bunch of information and you don't want to touch most of it. Okay, most of it, you keep your hands off and because otherwise it's easy to make, mess things up. But I just want to document here which piece of the information is, is encoded where. All right, so here you have the Q index, this number here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That is, that corresponds basically, the, this is not, it's actually not shown. There's no number shown here. There's a separate line here. So basically it, it numbers the lines starting with zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so forth. So that's that's the 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 index for the for the line. But however, the number, this here is a value, right? The index here is not just a simple numeration numbering it through from zero to how whatever the line number is. So that's this, right? The line number is this one here, Q slash. That's the line number. And you don't do anything to that. Um, not, in, not in this file. And then this here is the index value. So that is the number that is inside that you can actually read in here in each line under index. You see here, and it's broken down. This is just a one. Now this is, this file is reflecting the status of this um, queue list from before I, I deleted all these extra queues. And that's why they, sh they still show here, right? Because I haven't saved, I haven't saved this stuff here yet. Um, and I'm not gonna, gonna save it, but this is, this is going to change the structure if I save it after deleting something, right? So anyway, so down here with 15, I'm actually in this line, in this column here right now, that is starting with this 100, 200, 210, and so forth. And I'm now down here in the second row, I'm at 1500. 
this is the second one here. This is the one that is highlighted over here. Okay. And you can see the next one is 1510. Okay. So one is the point. Point one, the third place here is the, the after the point of the first of the first numbers. And then if you scroll further down, for example, here, 19.7 would be 1970. So that's here. And 1971 has an entry here because this has the second tier of you know substructure. So here, seven one. So one nine seven one. So you can see how this works out here. All right. So this is the number we don't want to change because this is the number that is in the script and everything is already marked up. So we don't want to change that. Um, what we do want to change is the reference number of the snippet. Okay. Because what we want to accomplish is that this snippet, which is number 53, and it's in here in slot number 53 in the snippet list, we want to shuffle these, all these snippets, we want to shuffle them up to the top. So they start somewhere here rather than way down there. And so that number, that number here is referenced in the file right here. You can see what happens with that. It's right here. It's the third number of these, or the third column of numbers after the title of the queue. So here's the queue name, and there's a number, there's a number. The third number is that reference number here, okay? So, Let's pretend now, we're going to pretend that we have already deleted all of these. So all of these have been deleted up to 1500. Right there. Okay. And now we're faced with looking at, okay, what are we going to do here? We want basically 53 to become... 53 to become two or three or something like that, right? Two, right? So basically what I did here, the way I did it is I just got in here, went in here and deleted the five and made all the fives, all the fifties zeros. And then all the sixties, I deleted here in sixties, I deleted and replaced with the one, the sixes became ones and so forth, all right? So now, so now you've changed, basically you've changed the reference. Let's actually save this. And then we're gonna reload this. We're gonna reload this. Put this again. Oops. Um, we're working in this copy show here, so. So there you go. So we've deleted all of these now in the file. And that means the slots are still here because it hasn't changed to, see this reference here hasn't changed. This is still showing number 69. So it's actually the process works better if you save it from here and then reload this file so that you can, you know, you have, this column here is easier to correct by resaving it from here rather than resaving it, saving it, edit, rather than editing this and then saving it. So the process is you want to bring your queue list in the order that you wanted. That means you're going to delete all these queues like I showed you. And then you're going to save, re export the show in a different folder. And that gives you, you know, the proper structure of, of this. And now, see what happened here now is now we have these are now referencing different IDs, the snippet IDs, snippet numbers, right? So now this references snippet number three. However, we have now a problem because here the snippets have not been deleted yet. So I created a bit of a mess in the way that I, I recorded this video. Um, I should have done it the other way around and just showed you the process in which I created the the other the other order. Anyway, so 
what you're going to end up doing is you're deleting all these snippets here and make a clear slate for the snippets. Then you can go into the file structure, the folder structure here, into Act 3 copy. So this would be the better way to do it. Num snippet number zero is our mute all, right? So I'm going to delete all snippets through 51 because these are the snippets for Act 2, right? And again, I want to make sure that I have a copy saved of this whole thing for a separate copy for act one and for act two. So now I've erased all these snippets um, that are used in act one. And now I'm going to load this again. Just load the show again. All right. So now you see I've, I've created a problem here because I've deleted the snippets. So now the snippets are no longer here. Those spots are all empty because it doesn't see those snippet files anymore. Okay. And I still have these other snippets. Those are the snippets for Act 2. So now I need to move these. In order to move these snippets into these slots, I'm actually going to have to rename the snippet files. So over here, I'm going to go in and go um, replace all, all the zeros, all the fives with zeros. And then once I get to the sixes, I replace them with ones. Oops. Oops. Okay, that's it. Like this, All right? Okay. Now, let's re reload the show again. Okay, you see now these have been filled in again with the with the correct entrant entries. Okay, because these shows, I mean these snippets here have now now come up to uh, the beginning. Okay, so that's that's it. So basically, when you want to do this, when you when you want to shuffle tracks. Um, when you want to shuffle snips into different slots, you have to make changes in two spots. You have to make the change here in the snippet name because you're going to have to um, create the snippet name re to reflect, edit the snippet name to reflect the ID here, the snippet ID. And then you have to edit the snippet reference in the show file and you you edit this in here which is the the third number the third column of numbers behind the name behind the queue name there all right so that's it that concludes this video i just wanted to document this because i i have never found i haven't found anything that gives any kind of instructions on how to edit the show file in order to make changes here just make sure you make this change only after having saved copies in separate folders so you don't mess up uh, the only copy that you have saved.